Did you ever wonder? Did you ever wonder? I do. Did you ever wonder why the sun always rises, but the stars never fall? Why dry land is never satisfied by water? And why fire never says enough? Enough. No, 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 no. wonder of no, or perhaps the first lesson you learned as a child, uh, and, and the wonder of that whole idea, that concept uh, in Hebrew, uh, because, you know, thou shalt not, <laughs> you know, Adam certainly struggled with that, and uh, he had one thou shalt not, and we've got a lot more than that, apparently. Um, there's a lot of that to understand, but it essentially could boil down to, apart from me, you can do what? Nothing. And so that idea of nothing and the idea of not and the idea of no are very similarly spelled, actually, uh, or spelled exactly the same way in Hebrew, which is simply uh, lo, which would be a lamed and an aleph. And so I just had to ponder and ponder, like, what in the world would a lamed and an aleph be. And the reason I was pondering this is because I have been enjoying some time in the different rivers. And, and you know, it, as I have spent my prayer time, I, I jump in every morning to the Pishon River to get that springtime feeling of falling in love and having my hope renewed. And, and then I move over into the Gihon where the summertime river, and, and as I'm sitting in the, in the Gihon River, uh, I, I realize that this is where I want to be with Jesus, want to be with Jesus, want to be with Jesus. But unfortunately, <laughs> you know, fall comes and we end up in that Hittikel River. And, and when I get over there, all of a sudden the word no starts to appear. And, and the reason it's, it's low is that when you start to do things apart from him, you do nothing. And, and so my struggle always is how do I get from that place in the morning where, I, where the Lord always gives me, which is interesting. He had Moses go up on the mountain to meet with him early in the morning. <clears throat> and how wonderful it must have been for Moses <laughs> to spend 40 days, you know, up there and all that. But at some point in time, he had to come down the mountain and even Moses, you know, struggled. And lo, <laughs> apart from him, we could do nothing. And, and that, that point of separation and that point of trial, which is interesting that the Hittikel River is um, translated rapids. <laughs> and so maybe you're like me and your day gets interrupted 40 times before you, you, you begin. But the idea is these tests that are challenging our faith muscles to, to stroke, grow stronger so that we can not go to that point of low or uh, that idea of lamed, which means to aspire, okay? The lamed is your heart. And uh, it's fascinating to me that the word no starts with your heart <laughs> or that idea of uh, aspiring and, and wanting to be with God. Or, or in this case, since the second letter is Aleph instead of the first letter being Aleph, I get the impression that the real idea here is that you are aspiring to be God. In other words, when you, when you go ahead and take control of your life, whatever that looks like, uh, and take the wheel, so to speak, out of Jesus' hands or the Holy Spirit or the Father, however you do that, um, at this point in time, you are headed to do nothing. <laughs> and he told you not to do it. And, he, and, and the scriptures are full of this uh, in so many different ways, yet, you know, it's the struggle of my day, most days. Like, how do I get, once I'm in the Hittikel, to the point where I continue to be in his will? And so I wanted to start <laughs> this episode with the idea of no, 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 and in hopes that it would break into my head as I begin to go places I shouldn't go without God. It's a simple message, but apart from me, you can do nothing. And the idea of no was something we learned first thing as a child, and apparently I still am a child and need to know that I got to quit doing that stuff and try to quit doing stuff in my own strength, Lamed. Aleph. In other words, I am not the Aleph, and my heart does not need to long to be the Aleph. My heart needs to long to be in the arms of the Father. And as you get to be with the Father today, uh, I'm grateful for your listening. Thank you. No, no, no.